for today's video, I really wanted it to be more relaxed and honestly, I think if anything, this is just something that I'm kind of telling myself mentally because not to like dive too deep. I mean, I haven't even done an intro to this video. Hi, we're gonna do a haul today, but or tonight. But I just feel like I've been applying a lot of pressure on myself lately from a YouTube perspective and I just, I, I don't know. I just felt like I needed to come on here and just be completely relaxed and not overthink everything, overthink the angles and the lighting and what I'm wearing and, and all of those things. I mean, not that, you know, listen, not that my stuff is cinematic by any stretch of the means, but behind the camera, I do put a lot of pressure on myself, especially um, from this channel perspective. And yeah, so I just felt like, you know, I was gonna do this haul. I was actually supposed to film it tomorrow. And then I just thought honestly that it would be really good for me to just sit down and just kind of relax, I guess. So that's what I'm gonna do. So there we go. I don't even know. Um, yeah, I, I, a part of me feels like I, I wanna like elaborate more, but I really don't know what, what else I honestly would like wanna say. But I do want to make sure that you guys know that I love and see your support for me every single day. And it just makes me want to constantly give you the best content I possibly can. This haul was actually supposed to be just purely Dollar General. Um, I was kind of having this expectation that I was going to go into the store and I was going to see a lot of great Valentine's Day stuff, which I've been kind of seeing parts of it on social media. But when I went into my store, um, they were still putting stuff out. So there really wasn't much for me to see. So I'm also going to include what I got from TJ Maxx, which, oh my gosh. Okay. So let's just start with dollar general and i picked up a gift bag this one's really cute i have not seen a cute one like this from dollar tree to be honest and i love the conversation hearts they're probably my favorite like classic thing i guess you could say from a valentine's day perspective i just think they're fun and I love pastel colors. I think it's a nice transition into spring. And I love like the old fashioned style mason jar they have here. And then they did conversation hearts on the side. Um, so I really think that bag is super charming. I also picked up this bag right here, also $1. Um, I'm loving that I'm seeing like the red truck concept from them. I think that's honestly, um, a really good thing because it is a super cute image you know that's just trending right now it's been trending for a few years now and i really like it i also like the solid heart here too and then i got these which are also comparable to dollar tree because they're also one dollar i love the way that they package these though versus dollar tree with dollar tree they they hook them up at the top so they're the bottoms like swinging all around you've got you know they're just kind of all over the place but with these they secure it with this little like piece right here so it keeps them all com compact each bag oh it's two why did i think it was three wow these are like pretty thick material that's really impressive this little gumball machine with the hearts dollar tree i don't know i if I ever saw an image like this at Dollar Tree, I would be surprised. I feel like sometimes a lot of the Valentine's Day stuff is pretty predictable. Um, Dollar Tree does surprise me a lot when it comes to like Halloween and Christmas stuff, but Valentine's Day, I feel like sometimes they're predictable, but I wanna see stuff like this at Dollar Tree. It's super cute. This one says happy Valentine's Day. And I wish you guys could honestly feel the quality. So we've got those and then here is this collection right here oh this bag is so pretty i love this one this is the kind of pattern honestly that i would use 
for my daughter. And I love that they did a reverse on the colors. Blue backdrop and then white and then they did blue hearts on the side. I just, you guys, I love details on bags. Um, and I just love that they feel like a brown paper bag. I feel like when I think of brown paper bags, I think farmhouse for some reason. Um, so I think these are very farmhousey. And then we have the cute little truck here. And then, oh, that's so pretty. Really nice. These bags were incredibly well done. The thing also that I just want to say is there have been times where I've seen certain prints at Dollar Tree and then I'll see the same exact print at places like Walmart and Target and Five Below. And I'm just like, okay, so maybe Dollar Tree isn't like the official designer. Maybe they don't actually design stuff. It's probably like a wholesale situation, right? So the question for me is, why aren't these showing up at Dollar Tree? If these are a dollar, love. And then here is this one. Hi, welcome to my channel where we spend 10 minutes talking about bags. And then here's this one, which truly now has like that brown paper bag because this part is brown. Sorry about the lighting. Like I just am trying to make this like a cozy night time haul. Oh, I love this to give something to my daughter. I mean, she's 20. So I try to like think about, you know, I mean, I could easily give her this bag or that bag and it's fine. Um, but when I have choices like these, I would just rather reach for like this or this for her. So really love that. And then here is a nice, you know, Valentine's Day classic one with all the XOXOs. And then the pretty matching colored hearts there. Can you guys hear that? I feel like this thing is like probably gonna explode here in a second. And it's all gonna be caught on camera. Um, also, I love using XO in my comments because it's my way of like, giving you guys a hug and a kiss virtually so i don't know don't know why i felt the need to mention that but i mean you know i'm not gossip girl i'm not trying to be like leave my comments xoxo you know it's not like that it's not like the tv show but i really love this side i think it's really pretty how they did the hearts that matches all the colors of the words so i love the bags oh there's more there's more bags Here's this one. Ooh, very pretty. Yeah, I was kind of in a hurry, to be honest, at the store. Um, but this one's nice because there's black in it, and I love that. See, this is also what I want to see. And by the way, when you see a bag like this, for me, like I automatically think the Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland. So if maybe you're thinking about doing a theme like that for a birthday or whatever, I like to point these things out because um, like this bag won't be available right after Valentine's Day and you may be doing an Alice in Wonderland themed party in August. I don't know. I mean, I just think this bag is absolutely fabulous. I'm definitely going to have to go back and get another one of these. And then here's this one. It says love and then the stripes matches that. The next item is a sink caddy. There's more Valentine's Day stuff, but I'm kind of going out of order. This is a sink caddy. I just said that. And actually, I got one from Dollar Tree. And when I tried to put it on the inside of my sink, it just didn't grip very well. But I also feel like there's probably some sort of like trick to these. But yeah, I just need something because I, I constantly see like my yellow sponges sticking out and I really just don't want to see that. I just want my kitchen to look nice and clean with like no, not as much clutter as possible, I guess. And then I found these really adorable felt stickers. They had a third option. I think it was unicorns and I just was not feeling it. But I thought that the monkeys and the koala bear were so cute. I hope I got that right, but oh my god, the monkeys are just absolutely everything. So stinking cute. I want to point out though that this monkey right here doesn't have the little like prints on her feet, and some of them are girl monkeys and boy monkeys. I love her cute little bow, so adorable. And this was a dollar. See, these we wouldn't see at Dollar Tree, like these really nice felt stickers. Dollar Tree does do them. And they have had some really great ones, but in packaging like this and I don't know, 
I love it. I'm definitely loving it. And again, it's like, it's a dollar. Why isn't this a Dollar Tree? I don't know, just a question. And then here are these. And it's so cute how they're like kind of hanging off different little positions here. Okay, then I picked up these massive foam heart decorations. Dollar Tree does these, but not on this size scale. So I love getting the bigger option. I think these are gonna be amazing in DIYs. They're gonna look great in a floral arrangement. They're gonna look great on a wreath. I mean, you can definitely cut your picks to size. I love using heart picks into my boxwood wreaths that you guys know I have pretty much all throughout the house. If you didn't watch my uh, redecorating of this space, I made some changes and I have a wreath over on a ladder over here. I'll link that video down below. And I'll just take some of these and then like pluck them into the wreath. And then after Valentine's Day is over, I'll take them back out. Like I won't hot glue them in permanently or anything, but it will be an easy solution to decorating like the existing decor. And then I also got it in pink. I love that there's a little bow detail on these two. It's super pretty. You can turn these into banners. You can use these for all kinds of things. You know? So they're just a great item for DIYs. Um, and then I found these, which they already did the garland DIY for you. I love that they did it on a twine yarn style because I feel like it's just very farmhouse and I really like that. And then, yeah, so I didn't find these in pink, just in the red. Then I found these, which I was just like, wow, also a dollar. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this at Dollar Tree. They are felt novelty bags. And I know I keep comparing it to Dollar Tree, but I honestly can't help myself. I think this is cute. Even like for your child's teacher, this would be a really cute way to give a gift. You know, you could put something um, like some candy, some chocolates, and then maybe like a little gift card or something. That would be really cute. But essentially, once you have your item tucked away in here, you would close it by putting the ribbon over the heart. Um, hang on, you gotta pull this down a little bit. It's kind of hard to show on camera, but that is really unique. I love it. Yeah, if I saw this at Dollar Tree, I'd freak out. Like we all know I would freak out. Then I found these mini novelty bags. What? These are so freaking cute. So just showing you guys one of them. Here's what it looks like. You can see that there's a little pouch and then you've got the string that you can pull to close these on both sides. This is going to be cute in a gift basket. This is also made great in a care package. I really love the color. Again, we have it in the red option too and you get three per pack for a dollar. Like that's nuts. Um, so there's that. And then I picked up these felt stickers, which absolutely gorgeous. They're just mini roses. I mean, why though, right? Why isn't this at Dollar Tree for a dollar? Like that's just nuts. Um, but I mean, obviously the answer is probably the fact that this is a different wholesaler than whoever like Dollar Tree works with. But at the end of the day, it's like, it's still a dollar. So I just, I don't know. I just personally don't get it. But I think these are amazing. They're just gonna be great for just DIYs across the board. I just immediately envision these somehow, some way in like a Valentine's Day tiered tray. You can add them to wreaths and floral arrangements and picture frames and gift baskets and care packages and all that as like decorations. Super cute. And then the last item from Dollar General, I got another coloring book because I cannot help myself. As you can see, the price on this was $3 though. I really love the cover art and the cover art is one of the drawings in here. I think when I was flipping through it, I found I found the bicycle, but yeah, these, this is like an adult coloring book, by the way. So just to kind of show you guys some options here. Honestly, I think that the price is pretty good. The paper quality on this is really nice. So it's that's always worth it. Um, I don't know if it will bleed through, but I can tell you that obviously there's no image on the back. So that's really nice. So chances are it probably is gonna bleed through, but, um, but maybe not to like this next 
connecting page. But yeah, I actually I was actually really surprised by the amount of really good coloring books that were at Dollar General. General. Now I'll show you guys what I got from TJ Maxx. The first one being this pillow, which I almost got two of them, but I couldn't make up my mind, but I honestly I should have gone with two. It was $19.99, but look at the white hearts. And when I saw this, I immediately thought of my bedroom. I just liked how neutral it was because you guys, if you watch my like vlogs or just my decorating of my bedroom, then you know I have like a foresty theme. So my colors are white, beige, and green. And I just thought this would just be really simple. It's not too like in your face loud Valentine's Day, but enough to give it a nod. It's also super soft. Like the next thing I got a little outfit for my niece and it's so adorable. I mean, it's very Valentine's Day too because the pants have like the pink hearts. What? So cute. And then the top has gray stripes and then that's a little bunny the sequins so charming and then the matching little headband i've actually never seen her in a like head wrap headband she always wears bows um so i have no idea honestly if she will if she's gonna vibe with that i mean she, this girl knows what she wants and doesn't want so i got her that then showed my daughter i took a picture of this item while i was there and i showed it to her to see if she liked it which she did it was $7.99. It's a beautiful little crescent moon with these like metal cutout things. Originally when I saw this, I thought there was like a place to put like a tea light holder, which I still think you can, honestly. Like, as especially like a flameless one, I think it would just be fine. But I thought that there was a space because of the cutouts that if you had like a candle, you know, it would like show this like design on a wall. But yeah, so she's gonna be doing shelves like right above her bed and i was like hey do you think that you would put this like on your shelves and she liked it so got that all right then i got a hat <laughs> i got another hat like i don't i don't know what to tell you it was on sale for eight dollars it was originally 9.99 and ta-da I mean, how cute is that? I had to. I mean, I'm I'm from Dallas, Texas for some of you. I think some of you sometimes ask where I'm from, but I am from, I'm, I'm in Dallas. So absolutely cute little hat. I love the buffalo check. And yeah, I've always loved the shape of the state too. I think it's just, it's really unique, but there we go. Got that hat. And then the last few things, I went a little bit, a lot. I bought a bunch of mugs. So let me show you. Okay, the first one, oh, this one. It was the first one that I saw and I instantly fell in love. And I do not actually have any Valentine's Day mugs. However, I'm gonna do a little plug here and let you guys know that I actually have an Etsy shop been working on it for a while i haven't really fully like announced it just because i'm still working on my inventory and designs but i love mugs so much that i decided i wanted to like design my own so and i have one that i recently just designed it's up and available in the shop right now and it's a little nod to pride and prejudice with mr darcy so i'll link it down below but anyways I just love mugs and I think this one is so beautiful. That pink interior and then you can see like I don't know if you can tell but this heart is like pushed in. They're both pushed in and then you can see oh, that is so pretty. Um, so there's that one. I actually have a few in here that are Ray Dunn. Um, what is this one? This one's not Ray Dunn but I I somehow fell into the to the gnome trap. I've never really I've never really been into the gnomes. Kind of still not my thing, but from a mug perspective, I think it's absolutely adorable. Um so he is really really cute 
and then it says be mine and then the red inside i love i love the extra detail like this it's like one of my favorite things about mugs but dollar tree did do a really cute gnome plush toy they did four different ones maybe five different ones but there's one in particular that i showed in a haul he's pink he, he really is adorable i love that thing um but other than that i guess i'm just not like gonna have gnomes everywhere i, I suppose i should say here's another one i say i'm not gonna have gnomes everywhere and i show you guys another mug but Oh my god, they're so cute. They're standing on the shoulders and holding the the hearts. Really nice. I love the size of these. Really nice and heavy ceramic mugs. Okay. Then, let's see. I thought I had... Okay, here is my first Ray Den mug of the haul. Hot Mess Express. Super hilarious. And what it got me was the inside lining was also like this baby bubble gum. No, it's like a baby pink. Uh, I don't know if this is part of her Valentine's Day line or not. Um, Cause I don't know how Hot Mess Express like has anything to do with that. But I really loved the interior and I think that this is hilarious. So there's that one. And then the other Raven mug is super cute too. It says my cup of tea and it has a yellow, bright yellow interior. So this one's gonna be really cute to like actually like reserve it for the teas that I drink. They also had one that said Earl of Grey, Earl Grey or Earl of Grey or whatever, however that tea is. And the inside was gray, which was really pretty, but I don't drink that particular style of tea. So I, I didn't get it. Love it. And then here, what is this one? Oh yeah. Oh my God, isn't that beautiful? This one was made by the same brand as this one, which I don't really know who this is, but absolutely stunning. Makes me just literally want to make a batch of coffee right now, like right this minute. Ooh, and I love when they do words on the interior. Love lives here. Super pretty. And the handle is pink. Yeah, I just, it's a huge mug too. Just to kind of give you a perspective of how big this mug is compared. I mean, like it's the size, it's the size of my head, people. Okay, to be fair, I do have, you know, the Beetlejuice guy in the waiting room head. My head is pretty small, but still that's a pretty large mug. Um, and then the final mug, which I was kind of like saving this one for last. It's just so celestial and beautiful. That black interior, shiny too, is absolutely everything. I'm, I'm really glad they actually did a shininess rather than a matte. Um, it's just everything about this mug is utter perfection. And I don't know who made this. The crescent moon on both sides. Um, Stay wild moon child. That's what it says right there. Oh, if it would focus. Yeah, really beautiful mug. I've never, like I said, I've never seen anything like it. So, anyways. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mugs today. But anyways, that's the haul for tonight. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will link my Etsy shop down below. But more, more designs are coming. But my shop is technically up and running. And I do want to thank those of you that have placed an order during the holiday season. I'm... Thank you so so much for for that and for supporting my shop and i hope you guys love your mugs and um yeah so actually i'm getting like really hot sitting here with this fire straight up in my back but um tomorrow as usual we're good not tomorrow sunday is going to be another dollar tree haul so i'll see you guys there and then we are going to decorate for valentine's day sometime next week so stay tuned for that and i'll see you guys next time bye